Today's video lesson is tidiness or being tidy. Let's learn how to answer this recent IELTS Speaking Part 1 topic strategically for us to achieve our target band score. Welcome to IELTS Dragon. At the end of this video lesson, you learn 4 techniques on how to talk about tidiness that help you achieve a band 7 or even a band 9. Also, you'll get ideas from the sample answers prepared in this video lesson. Without further ado, let's get started. So, how to talk about tidiness in IELTS speaking confidently and strategically? Well, first, understand the meaning of tidiness. When we say tidiness, it simply means the state of being arranged neatly or carefully and with everything in order. Look at that photo right there. That's an example of tidiness. Second, prepare some ideas about tidiness. For example, properly classifying books in a bookshelf, sorting different types of shoes in a shoe rack, placing well-folded clothes in the closet, and many more. Those are some examples of tidiness. Now, when you have some ideas in mind about tidiness, it'll be very easy for you to answer questions. So make sure to prepare some. Third technique. Avoid using the word tidiness over and over again. Say, to be tidy, being tidy, cleanliness, orderliness. So vary your vocabulary words. Repeating the same words for so many times means your vocabulary knowledge is limited and that'll have a negative impact on your score, especially in the criterion lexical resource. Fourth technique, use collocations naturally. Collocations help you sound natural or like native, which is one of the most important factors to help you achieve your target band score. Now, let's start answering questions about tidiness by applying the four techniques which we've just learned. Let's begin. Let's answer the first question. Are you a tidy person? Definitely. I can't live a life being untidy. I want my things to be organized, like my books are arranged based on colors and thickness. My clothes in my wardrobe are all folded neatly and hung properly. Not to mention how my shoes are sorted from casual to formal or from winter shoes to summer shoes. Actually, I don't consider myself as an OCD person. I just love seeing my things organized. Now, here is another way to answer that question. Not at all. As an extremely busy person, that's the last thing I want to do. I'm a part-time worker in a full-time student and I have time to think about tidiness. You might think that I'm kind of irresponsible, but my work and my study take priority over any other things. Next question. How do you keep things tidy? Well, like I said earlier, I always make sure to arrange my books in my bookshelves where they look pleasant to my eyes, fold and hang my clothes in an organized way so it's easier for me to find a perfect outfit whenever I need to attend a special event. Actually, that's very convenient and being organized saves me from wasting my time. Next question. Do you think people should be tidy all the time? No, tidiness is not one of life's necessities. It's a matter of choice or being part of one's personality. If one is brought up by parents who are particular about tidiness, then most probably he will be tidy. Or if one gives importance to cleanliness and orderliness, then he can't afford living a life that's lack of tidiness. Now, let's have an alternative answer to that question. Here we go. No one's perfect. I myself, as a person who values tidiness, can't be tidy all the time. There are times that I miss arranging things in my house because I'm occupied by so many tasks and that's just normal. However, I suppose if one has an extreme condition of OCD, then being tidy all the time becomes a daily essential for that kind of person. Next question. Are you tidier at work or at home? Of course at home, because that's where I live. It's my personal space. Although I practice tidiness in the office, I still think that it's incomparable to how I organize my things at home. 
In the office, I don't have the absolute freedom to arrange things thoroughly due to office rules. I need to adhere to some regulations that our office is set. Now, here is an alternative answer to that question. I'm not really a tidy person, and it's shameful to say that, but honestly, I try my very best to be a little tidy at work because I want to gain my boss and colleagues' respect. I don't want them to think that I'm an awful worker. Now, it's your turn. How will you answer these questions about tidiness? Write your answers in the comment section below, and I'll improve them if they need to be improved, so you'll be able to surely achieve your target band score the next time you take the exam. Start writing your answers now. If you find value to this channel, don't forget to support by subscribing, leaving a like, and sharing this video. And that's all about the recent topic in IELTS Speaking Part 1, Tidiness. Thank you so much. Until the next lesson, have a lovely day.